Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Whovians of all ages, races, genders, country of origin, species, and or color. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know Doctor Who isn't for you anymore? Did you know it's not meant for the fan base that made it a great show, that made it as popular as what it did is the Western audience, especially the American audience that accepted this show so early in the 2000s when it decided to do all of its relaunch and come back stronger than ever before, at least in this humble common nerd's opinion, has now been relegated in diverse to the nothing more than something that's meant for diversity, something that's meant to push an agenda. Sadly, our travels through space and time, at least any new adventures outside of the great stuff that Big Fish does, has come to a close as far as most Whovian fans are concerned. Yes, some people still decide to torture themselves and go out there and watch those shows just to see how abysmally bad it has gotten. And I, of course, decided to torture myself because of a friend's request and watch the 60th anniversary show, which, of course, Russell T. Davies coming back, we actually thought there might be a chance this would end up being good. Well, of course, all of those hopes were immediately squashed watched from the very first moments of that very first episode. Well, it did not pan out and has not gotten any very good from then. And of course, obviously, a lot of the fans have been pushing back on that. Well, there's more pushback from more people involved in the studio because this has always been my biggest issue, right? Is when people, you can go out there and make all your woke garbage nonsense you want out there. And you know what? If I don't like it anymore, I'm not going to watch it. But when you go out there and attack the fans, that's when I've got a real problem with it. And of course, once you get some backlash, once you get some pushback, a lot of time people like here, like our dear sweet Nagati Gatwa, the new Disney doctor, because that's exactly what this is. This is a Disney production, just like Disney Star Wars and Disney Marvel. This is Disney's Doctor Who it is no longer actual Doctor Who anymore. It is Neo Who. It's an absolute abomination in the shell of its former glory. Well, after Nagati Gatwa decided to backtrack after telling all of us to go out there and touch grass after having issues with their new progressive agenda, they decided to use Doctor Who as their latest uh, font to push all of that kind of nonsense. He, of course, decided to backtrack. Nakati Gatwa says he feels sad for those tuning out of the new season of Doctor Who because of its push for diversity. Oh, yes, he feels sad. He feels sad because the ratings numbers are in the toilet, and even the Walt Disney Company has to be looking at this going... Maybe this worse isn't the hundreds of millions of dollars we're spending on this. And of course, like I said, here's the article right here from Business Insider of him saying this. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages and Whovians of many generations old and new. There is one person who is out there telling you still to screw right off the involvement of their show because Do Dr. Who actor Jinx Monsoon rejects critics of series' new queer direction. If they don't watch it, then if they don't want to watch it, then who needs them? Oh, let me list off the people who need us. The advertisers, your ratings, your viewership numbers, your audience scores, all of the things that make a show successful. Yes, I know, Jinx, you live in this little bitty bubble out there in Hollywood or out there in the elite world of the United Kingdom where you think everyone thinks just like you and that the majority of the world is totally accepting of your freakish nature and your nonsense agenda that you want to push on children. Well, guess what? Reality is hit, Jinx. Reality tells us that the viewing numbers are in the toilet for the Doctor Who series compared to the highs that they have been at in the past. Even for the Jodie Whittaker series, the numbers are absolute abysmal and tragic. So, Go ahead, continue spouting this nonsense and continue destroying Doctor Who. We're going to roast you, we're going to laugh at you, and we're going to make fun of you, and we're going to remind you that real Whovians are still here. They still exist. And we review good new Who every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time exclusively on Rumble because that's the free speech alternative of the world out there that allows us to go out there and say all the things we want to do and review the good Who, the classic Who, not your Neo Who nonsense. And you will never be able to take, take that away from us. So let's get into this article for Battery in the Comics. Let's remind these people of exactly who they do need to be successful. Because apparently these dancing clowns have forgotten, forgotten that. That if they don't have anybody to watch, they're just a weirdo. And moving around jerkily with no one watching. So before we do, if you join to our content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or follow, depending on what platform you're on, and check out all the links in the description down below. And providing further evidence to the theory that its current production team is more focused on owning their perceived enemies than actual storytelling, Doctor Who actor Hera Hoffer 
better known by the stage name Jinx Monsoon, has declared that should anyone stop watching the series due to the new and overtly progressive objection, they would do well to not let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, aren't you snarky? Aren't you clever? Color us shocked there. It's the exact same nonsense we've heard time and time again out of Hollywood and all of the rest of the people involved in this nonsense. We don't need you. Until they realized, like Nagati Gatwa, the current Disney doctor, did as the ratings begin to fail and all of the backlash happens in the media from all of the fans out there when you tell us to go touch grass. We will enjoy watching your ratings fall into the toilet and enjoy Disney wasting hundreds of millions of dollars on a show that has been dead for years. Thanks, Chris Chibnall. Monsoon, who guest starred in the second episode of the series 14, The Devil's Cord, which I haven't watched. You guys, you guys want to watch me suffer through that? Would it, would it bring you pleasure? I am just your dancing clown after all. And I fully admit that and realize my position in the world. So if you guys want to watch me suffer through these new episodes of Doctor Who and review them for you, please let me know in the comments down below. Please don't make me do that. Please don't make me, please don't hurt me like that. But if, but if you're a sadist like I am and want to watch me suffer, I'm not going to blame you. I'm not going to judge you. I am just your dancing clown after all. <sighs> As the villainous child of the toy maker and manifestation of the music of music of music, the maestro offered this tired anti-fan refrain while speaking to Slate's Isabel Gligger ahead of the episode's May 10th premiere. Oh, what a wonderful way. Alienate your audiences before your episode even premieres. That's genius marketing. I wonder why that adage of go woke, go broke ends up keep turning out to be true. Ah, who knows? It's probably not actually reality. Making reference to the actor's identity as transgender drag queen, Kilgore, which means it's actually a man. Kilgore at one point asked Monsoon, what kind of response to Maestro are you expecting from the... Are you expecting? Expecting. Not that you've gotten. Not that you've heard what you're expecting. So this own person's very warped mind their perceptions of what the response will be. Not what it is, not what it has been, but what it will be. What kind of response to my story are you expecting from the traditional high Doctor Who fans? To which the former RuPaul's Drag Race contestant asserted, Russell T. Davies brought Doctor Who to everyone. He brought it back because he was passionate about it. To the people who have issues, the show that you love was created by a queer person. Get over it. No, it wasn't. Because prior to that ignorant statement of yours, which clearly shows you know nothing of Doctor Who or its lore, or and I'm sure probably had any note and had no desire whatsoever to get involved until your queer hero, Russell T. Davies, got involved. No, Doctor Who was not created by a queer. Doctor Who was created in the 1960s by a bunch of people hoping to give a family-friendly sci-fi generation that intentionally was supposed to be educational for children. So no, no, it wasn't created by a queer person. Russell T. Davies, and I will give credit while credit is due, Russell T. Davies created and wrote some of the greatest episodes and the greatest overarching story arcs of Doctor Who. Now, I'm a little bit more of a Moff fan personally, but that's always up for debate among people. But all Russell T. Davies did was revitalize a show that we hadn't seen any legitimate content out of in over a decade. Okay? So no, you idiot, you moron, monsoon, a monsoon of ignorance is all you are. Russell T. Davies didn't fucking create Doctor Who, you ignorant man who wants to feel pretty. A lot of people are going to really love this, not based on the ratings. And I think this season is going to create a lot of new Doctor Who fans. Where are those people at again? Because this is always the lie you try to put out there in the marketing. Every time you guys decide to go woke and end up broke, the lie you sell to the executives, the lie that you sold to all of Hollywood's old guard you know, those old white men that are still in charge that you just can't stand but in the media, but you'll gladly take a paycheck from. Yeah, you sold them a bill of goods that said this was going to bring in all these new fans. And of course, it wouldn't ostracize those people. Those are just a bunch of bigots out there. They're a small portion of the population that are rejecting this new progressive nonsense. Yeah, 
How'd that work out? How'd that work out for Star Wars? How'd that work out for Marvel? How'd that work out for Pixar? How's that worked out for Doctor Who? Go on Amazon right now and try to find Doctor Who toys. See how many results you get back, especially of stuff that you would actually want. That alone should be enough of a gauge for how the condition of the Doctor Who fandom is. And if we lose some of the transphobic ones, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Well, that's okay. Because they've gone. They're tired of your agenda getting shoved into a family-friendly television show. They don't want to explain to their kids why a freak like you, a man, is dressed like a woman. They don't want to explain that to their kids. Doctor Who was a family event. This was something I used to get up every Sunday morning when the show finally popped up on Amazon Prime after buying the entire season before I even saw it. My son and I used to get up every morning and watch it on Sunday mornings when it finally premiered on Amazon Prime. It used to be a family event. Now, given that my son's much older now, I wouldn't have to explain to him what kind of freak you are now. But I certainly wouldn't watch it with any of my children now. There's no way in hell. Fortunately enough, those memories of me and my son and our love for Doctor Who, you know, new Who, the good Who, and classic Who, you'll never be able to take from us. But freaks like you are going to continue to ostracize all of the actual fans out there, the people who bought the merch, people who showed up and watched that show every Saturday night when it premiered. You and freaks like you are the reason why this show is failing. And Russell T. Davies is more than willing to capitulate to the rest of his queer friends out there because apparently that's all that matters to Russell T. Davies anymore is the agenda and his queer identity. Long gone is the great writer, the great showrunner we once knew And now that has been replaced by Russell T. Davies, nothing more than the shill acolyte for the cult. But Monsoon, this freak of nature, goes on to say, there's a lot of toxicity around the gender and the trans conversation. In the 70s, it was the conversation of queerness, the gay conversation. We've overcome it once and we'll overcome it again. And the people who are upset about it, boo-hoo, cry your fucking tears. It's not your world exclusively. We all live here. So get over yourself. Well, You're not the only fucking one who lives here either. So get over yourself. The rest of us, we'll check out a Doctor Who. Enjoy your one time and only appearance on a show that is on its way out. Because Disney and all the House of Mouse cash that they infused into this propaganda machine that used to be a great sci-fi television show will cause it to go the same thing that the rest of it is. Go woke, go broke. Doctor Who will just be an echo of its former self that no one will remember anymore. I know a lot of people might not even watch the season of Doctor Who because it's taking such a decisively queer step. Yep. However, if they watch it, I think they'll see what our actors are just playing characters. And if they don't watch it, then who needs them? I believe that for every fan we lose to transphobia, we're going to have two or three more coming in because they're excited for a trans representation. Once again, confirming what I said about this person being nothing more than a monsoon of ignorance. Give me one, one example of a show that has been around for a long time with tradition, with lore, with a built-in fan base that decided to go down the route of the cult, that decided to go down the route of woke, that decided to go to the route of queer, and then have a bunch of freaks like you come out there in their marketing and tell all of us fans out there, us traditional Doctor Who fans like you called us, to tell us to fuck off. Give me one example of a television series or a property that has survived that. Because I can give you a million examples of one that haven't. Bud Light, DC, Marvel, Disney, Pixar. Star Wars, we can go on all day long. The Expanse, Wheel of Time, Rings of Power, all of these have failed. So go ahead, Jinx, you freak of nature. Go ahead and keep putting your bullshit out there. Go ahead and keep saying stuff like this. 
me and all the real Whovians, we're going to get together at 6 p.m. on Sunday nights and we're going to watch Good Who because we got hours of that. We got years of classic good writing, years of big fish productions that are good and stick to the lore and respect the fans and respect the act- what has actually come before in Doctor Who. So go ahead, Disney. Go ahead, Russell T. Davies. Go ahead, Jinx. Enjoy your Neo-Who. Enjoy your Disney Neo-Doctor Who. Because it's an absolute abomination, and it's going to fail like every other IP that has gone in this direction. Enjoy it, Jinx. Enjoy your five minutes of fame, and enjoy the pats on the back you'll get from all your friends at the cocktail party for owning all of us transphobes out there. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be the rest of us laughing at all of you when you're king of nothing more than a pile of ash. 